Does standing up in front of a classroom of students seem a little intimidating? Are you wondering how to get the student's attention and keep it? Here are some typical situations that you may encounter in your classroom. We've had some classes where the dynamics maybe weren't as good as they could have been. I actually had somebody fell asleep one time and started snoring in front of the whole class. I do teach at a lot of schools with over 50% of its students on free or reduced lunch. Um, and many times, especially at the elementary school level, there's a range of reading competency. So the ones that usually like to answer over and over and over again multiple times, they don't have an issue as much as the quiet ones that raise their hand sometimes. For example, I was teaching our city today. All of the students know how to speak English, but their reading competency level was not um, on par with the junior achievement material. Uh, so what I did to address the issue, well not really address, but kind of overcome that challenge is I let them, I let them sound it out. So industrial, industrial, and then I'm like industrial, great job, and then I kind of pronounced it the way it is pronounced. I will direct questions toward the individuals who maybe aren't paying as much attention as they should, or they're hearing side conversations, or I might just make a, a, a nice comment saying, you know, let, let's bring the discussion back here because, you know, I'm trying to go through this material. If it ever gets out of control, the teachers always step in and they will, you know, they will direct the students. But I like to try to make it more personal between myself and the students because that way they don't feel like, um, you know, I'm some kind of outside interloper. I like to feel like I'm part of the classroom and if I can get their attention in my own way, I think it's a lot more valuable than it is to have the teacher kind of do my disciplining for me. Silence speaks volumes because after a while they start to realize that we're listening to those conversations. And uh, oftentimes I might say, you know what, your conversation is more important than mine, so we'll wait. Well, it was challenging because the children are at the age where they want to be funny and they want to crack jokes and they want to be the class clown because that's all a part of fitting in. Typically in a high school class, you're going to have a variety of behaviors. You may have those kids that are not engaged. Uh, you may have conversations on the side. Um, you may have um, students um, doing another assignment for another class. But I think a lot of times what the volunteer can do is try to be as engaging as possible and try to include everyone. And I think a lot of times those behaviors are diminished. As you can see, depending on the age of your students, you will encounter all kinds of situations. With your teacher's guidance, some humor, and common sense, you'll be able to handle anything.